Well, man, how much pressure did you personally, or even as the whole line group, did you guys feel to kind of bounce back in week four after the performance from week three? Yeah, you know, um, we, we feel pressure. Uh, every week we kind of have to reset and, and just uh, really dive into our game plan and what we have to do uh, for the next opponent. So it's never, you know, any pressure. You always want to play well. You always want to... Um, you always want to do good, but you know, you know, coming off a game like that, we just wanted to get back to doing what we what we know we're capable of and uh, just executing. And I thought this week we did a better job of that. I mean, you guys, you guys will face better pass rushes than Detroit's going forward. I mean, is there are there still things from that game that you say this will translate? This is something that will be good against anybody. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you always take the you always take the good from the game because um, uh, at the end of the day, it's about. Uh, us and it's not you know it's not necessarily always about the opponent. We just we want to continue doing us doing our technique the right way and you know there's still stuff we can clean up from the game, but uh, there there are some positives we can take and uh, we will take forward because you know all those guys on the edge and on the D line they they, they get paid and they're all good players. So um, we we just have to keep taking the good and keep building because every week we're just getting a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable doing what we're doing. Was the uh, film session a little bit more enjoyable? Uh, you know, you, you know, you, you, you always want to be, you always want to be critical. You always want to be uh, hard on yourself. You never want to, you know, pat yourself on the back too much. Uh, so there's always things we can learn from, and always things we can grow from. But um, it's always, it's always a little easier coming off of a win, though. It's always a little easier to make those critiques coming off of a win. So yeah, you know, it feels good to, to, to get the W. And uh, but we just gotta keep, keep moving forward and keep, keep building, keep getting better. When you reviewed some of the deep shots that Justin connected on and the clean pocket, what stood out to you about what allowed you guys to kind of create that for him? Yeah, you know, just like I said, uh, you know, I, I beat it up so much, but just just getting better every day. We, we we had a great week of prep. I had a great week of prep last week. So, you know, to have those type of weeks, we, we just had to keep stacking those weeks. It, it's just a the, the preparation always carries over to the game. What's in practice always carries to the game. And, you know, you, you, you see it on film. You see, okay, that's that that was a problem in practice, and it carries the game. That went well in practice, it carries the game. So we just want to keep uh, giving uh, quarterbacks the opportunity to, to get the ball downfield, and we just want to keep getting better, keep keep working, and keep not being complacent about where we are at. What was your biggest takeaway from the, the first play, first of all, and just coming out and, and setting the tone right there? Yeah, you know, we, we want we, – we wanted to come out and uh, establish an identity as uh, Coach Nagy pushed all week. We wanted to establish an identity, and I think we were able to do that. You know, we were able to be physical, lean on those guys a little bit, and when we needed to air it out, we aired it out, and we were able to uh, keep keep Justin clean for the most part. So um, we we like we love running the ball. We we believe in the, our backs. We have three, four backs that we really believe in, and. Uh, up front, we think we can get the job done. We and uh, you know Juan, Juan really works us on the wide zone and the tight zone and everything we do. And we're just we just want to continue getting better at that. And uh, we're just grateful that we, we had the opportunity to really uh, get to, to show who we were. And you know, and we'll keep we'll keep showing it. We'll keep getting better and keep building on it. Matt talked a lot about the, the predominant goal being to have an identity in that game and establish that. What do you think you guys accomplished in that regard on Sunday? Yeah, you know, I, I, you know when when you're able to run the ball, when they know you're running the ball, that's a, that's always a good thing. And um, you know, it, games are gonna go different type of ways as the year goes along. But if you're able to run it and uh, get ahead and still continue to uh, uh, assert our, our assert ourselves on them, you know, it was it was really cool. And we just, you know, we we love we love when coach says, "All right, y'all want to run it? We're gonna run it." You know we're gonna run it. We're gonna we're gonna lean on y'all. It's 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 if if y'all don't block it up, if y'all don't move the line of scrimmage, we're not gonna be successful. And we love those challenges. And uh, we have another great challenge this week, and um, we're we're super excited about it. A report has surfaced that Montgomery could be out for a month or so. What gives you confidence that you can keep that going? If it's Damian Williams or even Khalil Herbert that has to step in, how do you keep that identity going? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Damian and Khalil. Um, really had really had solid camps along with uh, Artavius, who had just brought back. Really had good camps running the wide zone and really, really, you know, really hitting it where they needed to hit it. You know, they had really – and Damien, even on Sunday, I think, had eight carries, 55 yards. Really, you know, super impressive stuff. So, 
Um, you know, David's David's special, but we have we have three, four backs that we really believe in, and that uh, Coach Petrie's really coached them up really good, and uh, that that room's been stellar since you know from day one. We 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 really believe in them, and they they believe in us, and we work hand in hand, and uh, you know uh, hopefully David can get back out there as quick as he can, but we do believe in. Uh, all of our backs. We have some really solid backs in that room. Jermaine, I'm, I'm impressed. Those are exactly Damien's numbers. <laughs> How closely do you study that stat sheet? No, I mean, you know, I, I, I check it out. You know, I just check out, um, I check out the, just how many times we ran it, you know, kind of through the floor of the game. You don't really, you don't really know the exact number, but, you know, kind of checking it out at the end of that game, you're like, okay, you know, four point anything yards per carry is impressive versus a, you know that's a, that's a that's a good defense over there. They have good players. And they they've been in they've been in tight games versus really good teams all season. So um, they're no slouch, and to be able to, to be able to run it that much and be productive is uh, a good thing and it's a good step in the right direction for offense. That's kind of how you. It's kind of how you gauge your numbers because it's hard to do that for an offensive. <clears throat> yeah, line. yeah. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a the, the O line definitely about perspective. You know, it's about who you're asking. You know, it's but. Uh, yeah, you know we we take pride in that. We take pride in that. Uh, like like y'all know, we didn't have a great feeling after the Cleveland game, but you know coming into this game, we was like, all right, let's just let's just get back to playing our ball. Get back to you know we have so many, and I said it in the uh, press conference last week. We have so many good players on our offense. So many guys that care. You know it's hard to get so many guys that care so much, and uh, the, the fact that we we're able to say, all right, we're gonna throw that away and just focus on getting better. You know, it, it showed, and you know, we still we still have a lot of getting better to do. But uh, like I say, we're taking steps in the right direction. You 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 feel pretty good about it. A couple of weeks ago, Jason uh, walked us through what he saw as a couple clear differences in pass protecting for Andy or for Justin. How aware, if at all, are you of that, and, and how much focus or how difficult is it to adjust? Yeah, you know, I, uh, it's, it's interesting to look at. You know, they they are they are different quarterbacks in a way, but. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you just have to give the quarterback whatever he needs. You know, I, I, um, I think they both, uh, they're both coached the same way to do the same things. You know, Justin, uh, you know, is blessed with great speed and athleticism. Uh, not that Andy isn't, but you know, they're both, they, they both have uh, their traits. And you know, it's, it's, it's. I wouldn't say it's necessarily different. You just have to, you know, you just have to do your job. You know, I, I just, I just go back to that. It's always about doing your job. It's not necessarily like. All right, Andy's gonna be here, and Justin. You know, it's, it's gonna be all right. Just block your guy, and and the offense will be better if you just block your guy and do your job. You know, I I, I try not to separate it too much. I just I just want to do my job, and uh, I know when I do that, it's it's uh, we we have a chance. Damien's uh, skill set has been notable to you in your time around him. You know, just just, just toughness, uh, football IQ. Um, I, I want to say he was on that. That, that Chiefs Super Bowl team a couple years ago, so you know he has that championship acumen. Uh, he, you know, he's just he's just a pro. You know, he's just a pro. Uh, he's 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 played in different schemes, and he's he just always has been successful at getting yards and 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 doing it the right way. And uh, that that's what he's been since he's got here. And we know he's in there. He's gonna run tough and hard, just like David, just like uh, Khalil, just like Artavius. You know. All the, we, we we just know we know we're gonna get from him and uh it's an everyday type of deal and uh we appreciate it to be able to you know unfortunately David going out but with him coming in and um the the, the young rookie, you know, they they've they've been impressive. We we're impressed with what they've given us and uh we, we don't think there's gonna be a any type of drop off because just because of how those guys are coached and how we know, you know, we see it in practice every day, those guys finishing and those guys they you know, they just care and they, they know they they know that they can all Run it, you know. When Khalil got in there on Sunday, I was like, "Hey, man, don't you know it's 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 your first time getting some some meaningful carries, you know? You know, get in here and, and run tough, just run tough and run hard and just be you." And uh, you know, those guys have been themselves, and uh, we're excited about what it's gonna look like. You know, it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge when you lose a guy, but um, when, when you have uh, guys behind them that 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 you know can run it, it's an exciting opportunity for them too. When you have that dedication to the run game, how does that help you in in pass pro? Does that does that like kind of give you a little edge? You know, it it, it makes the defense have to you know play more honest. When when a D lineman uh, knows he just has to rush the quarterback, yes, that's that's like Candyland for them. They love that. But when uh, 
when they have to play the run, when they when they have to have real eye control and stuff like that, it, it makes a little, their job a little tougher, you know. Uh, so it, it makes them they have to play on it. They have to because they can't just run up field every time. We'll just run it right right there every time. So. It's, it's it's cool, you know. It's cool to to make them play on this because defense now that that puts the defense in a bind, it puts them in a bind instead of just all right. We're just going to rush the pass and play coverage. That's 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 the defense coordinator and D lineman's dream. But when you have to, all right, they're running it at us every time. All right, now they're throwing it over our heads. That's tough. That's tough for them. In, in, in all the conversations that you guys had here last week, how vocal were you guys as an offensive line in saying, hey, if we're looking to establish an identity, we want to run the ball more. Yeah, you know we we. We, we just, uh, you know, Coach Knight came to us and he said, he challenged us. He said, all right, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to run, we're going to run the off, we're going to, we're going to, our identity is going to start up front. And we know that up front, if we're not doing it, then the offense is not going to go, uh, whether we're running or throwing it. So uh, we, we, just, we just want the opportunity to show who we are. And I think Sunday was a cool step in the right direction of, all right, this is who we are. We could we could run it. We could throw it if we have to. We could throw it around. We got some good receivers and we got some capable uh, pass protectors, and we have uh, quarterbacks that can that can really sling it. But uh, the fact that they trusted us and said, "Hey, we're gonna put it on y'all. Let's uh, y'all tight ends, uh, JP leading up in there a few times. You know, it's it was, it was real cool. It's cool. It's cool to be able to to lean on guys because then you, you you start to. You start to have an identity. You start to you start to make them feel you. When the defense start feeling you, you know, you you, you start scoring points. So I think it was twenty one zero at one point. You know, that feels good. That feels good. And we just want to keep uh, having that feeling going forward because we know we're we're capable and we we still left some points out there. So we're you can't believe even more. So we'll keep going and keep we'll just keep building on it. But uh, it was a really good uh, start, step in the right direction for us. Thanks, everybody. <clears throat>